Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Mad and Cheese as always. Got part two of my gun split close today. I told you guys in the last bit if you wanted to see some one play touchdowns out of this formation you're looking at on the screen, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. You guys did that. So, as always, if you guys want to see more stuff out of the Niners, which is at the moment my favorite playbook, same thing. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as always, and I will continue to do Niners. I plan on doing um, as much Niners content as possible before I put out my ebook from them because I do plan on putting out them as my first ebook, hopefully in a couple of days, um, if not a little bit longer. But ultimately, this is my one of my favorite formations from last year, and it's going to be one of my favorite formations going forward this year. I already put out a four play scheme. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. But for now, I'm really going to focus on some explosive plays, some one play touchdowns that obviously everybody needs. Um, in the new game now the number one play that i didn't go over in the first video that i really wanted to was the halfback wheel this is a very explosive uh play it has a lot of different one play touchdowns you can create out of it um, that's going to be one of the first plays I show and then I also have a lot of really good uh, plays to work along with it So let's go and let's pick the halfback wheel I said in the first video to make sure that you know to, to sub put your substitutes To where the point where you really have your best running backs at these two running back spots because you typically have a fullback So just make sure you have running backs your best running backs should typically be at the actual fullback spot That's where I want my um, you know the majority of my plays are going to go But that doesn't really matter. So ultimately let's go ahead and let's set up the, uh, the play halfback wheel on the defensive side we're going to start off with cover two and then work our way back because that's typically what i want to do i want to show how each play can beat each individual um defense so we're going to pick tampa two to start so this first play i mean you know this is a really good play you can run this against just about anything you can see this y route's going to get open in the flat the flats are always going to be there there's a lot of really good dink and dunk check downs even the uh, the b route which is crossing over like this is a really good play there's not a lot of um you know adjustments needed if you're just going to run this play as is it's a good dink and dunk play just like the first video i put out but if you put the b route on a streak there's a couple things you can do to make this a very successful one play touchdown there's a lot of defenses against cover two just streak that b route and i find number one the rb route is going to be a really good option again because it's going to pull that cornerback back but ultimately the real plan here is the big play which is going to be the a route this is a simple cover two concept you can do this out of a lot of different things and then you can see how i'm just basically dotting up that coverage over there so lots of things you can do there you can motion the running back out as well sometimes i do that if i'm trying to pull that cornerback down for the b route so this will actually um you know it's good something that'll uh, confuse your opponent a little bit but you can see i mean it just it just helps to create separation so it's something that you can do i would make a habit of motioning out this receiver who i put in george kittle because the niners don't have a good third receiver but i would get in the habit of motioning him out because it's going to be important when it comes to some of the cover three one play touchdowns let's go and let's move on to the cover three one play touchdown against cover three this is a good play uh just to work these flats i mean that's pretty much going to be your best option against cover three you can see he's you know the the coverage just plays back to the point where he's 10 yards down the field before there's even anybody in the area so just anytime somebody's playing cover three cover four just work the flats so against cover three i just want to make sure that i run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field that's going to be the most important thing uh because you need to really you know create a lot of space so i'm going to run this from the left hash mark to the open side of the field on the right motion out you know this running back here just to motion that safety across that just brings the safety over into a little bit of a better area then i'm going to basically just streak the b route and streak the x route and that's all i really have to do and then this is going to be the play and then you're going to see that i can pretty much just bomb this up right between a giant cover three seam that's how you beat cover three you have to essentially create a much wider field and this is going to be consistent if i were to start this play from the center of the field or you know any other area it's really not going to work you have to start from a hash mark whether it's going to be the left or the right you can start from the right hash mark and just make sure you run the play to the left side it doesn't really matter but ultimately um, the way that man is right now before they patch it these uh this is how you create separation of the cover three seam now i have 
Um, you know, the streak here is just basically meant to pull this uh, safety to the left as much as possible. Just leave him in that area because that cornerback has to react. React. You see, the cornerback slows down. He's covering him. Then he has to react to the underneath routes, and that's when the safety up top takes over. I'm watching for that safety to do that because that's when I throw the ball because he's got his back turned. He won't be able to flip his hips in time to make a play on the other receiver going right up the middle. And then you can see if we go back to me here, I'm basically just waiting for that guy to turn so that I can basically load up. And like I said, the reaction time, if if you have like an elite speed safety out here, maybe he makes a play. Although honestly, I think Buda Baker, is that Buda Baker? Yeah, he's the second best safety in the game. So if he can't make a play on it, especially since I only have a, like a, I don't even think Brandon Ayuk is a 80 overall. So if he can't make a play on this ball in the air, you know, most safeties won't be able to, you can see it just comes right up the middle. So we're gonna do that again. The only thing about this is like, I'm going against JJ Watt. I'm gonna double team JJ Watt. So if you don't know how to do that, that's not something you need to know for this video, but if you're going against a superstar like this, you're definitely going to have to do that. So here we go once again. Like I said, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. And you can see it's still a big play, but there's a huge scene to be had. I'm going to do that one more time. Like I said, I got to make sure that I double team JJ. And I'm sliding my protection, all that. You know what I'm saying? I got the fullback over there. I got everybody trying to take take up some uh, some JJ Watt room, and then like I said, you can see it's really easy. It's not a huge separation, but it's enough that you can score easy one play touchdowns against cover three. Now this play will beat both cover fours. There's two different types of cover fours. There's cover four cores, which is like a cover four matching principle, and then there's cover four drop. This will beat both, but it'll do it in different ways. So we'll start off with cover four drop. So what I'm going to do is I'm like I said, Max Pro, motion this guy out. Put this A on a drag, put this B route on a smoke, and that's all she wrote. So you're basically just gonna be buying time. Hopefully JJ Watt didn't double team him, so hopefully he can handle it. And now you can see, once this guy gets inside that first safety, even though there's a superstar safety back there, he's not gonna make that play. Now, I didn't really time that very well, but that's okay, the result is the same. And I don't really have like the fastest receivers or nothing either, so um, like I said, you're basically just watching this guy. Once he gets inside of this safety, if I go back to the other safety, I mean, it's just, it's just a bullet and pass lead away from the free safety. So if you go back to this other safety, these guys here, because of these routes are so short, they typically just don't react. They just they just stay down. The way that the Madden defenses typically handle these type of plays is they split the field in half when it comes to the AI. So you can see these guys here are just, they just stay depressed because they, that's their responsibility. It's the right half of the field. And then by the time this guy crosses into the right half, you can see that's when this guy starts to react. The second he gets closer, he reacts, but it's too late because the depths are just too different. Now, I mean, I can only imagine if I had a more explosive or a speedier receiver than this guy, you can see there's nothing but space. So it's really all about placement at that point. Bullet, pass leading away. The ball, for, for me, is already in the air. So like I said, the second I see that guy cross inside that safety, you can see I'm already loading up, and boom, we're hitting a one-play touchdown. A very easy one-play touchdown against any cover four. I do find it helps to roll in the direction of the throw. Um, which you typically, um, you know, it, it, you might not always be able to do, but it definitely, it definitely helps because the defenders stay home a little bit better when you're, when they feel you're in the area. So just remember that. I didn't get the roll into the throw there, but I got the step up into the pocket and shorten the throw, uh, which is going to be important when it comes to completing this pass. As you can see, just, just stepping up or just being, you know, in danger, it makes the safeties just play it a little bit differently. That's the best way I can describe it. So that's your play for cover two, cover three, cover four, the halfback wheel, very good play. There's a lot of really good man beating plays and cover three specific plays as well. One of the best ones that actually has a man beater and a cover three play in one is the Z spot. Now we're going to pick that. Like I said, we'll start off with cover three because it's very similar to the first cover three play that I showed. Pretty much a similar setup. Got a motion this across here. We got to run it from the sideline. So like I said, same thing. Pretty much have to do the exact same thing. I like the motion I'm running running backs, put them on a streak, but it's pretty much gonna be the same deal. I gotta remember to put my man JJ on a double um, because he will be a problem if I don't, and I will block that fullback, slide protection, all that stuff. We gotta make sure that we keep that guy in check, but this is pretty much gonna be the play, and then the B route is going to have success once again, right up the seam, very big uh, lane, and I probably would've been gone from anywhere on the field because you can see how much separation that creates. Now, we'll go to the replay. It's a very similar concept to what I just showed, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it, but you can see how you know these two routes over here will keep that safety busy uh, and more to the side. I think this is actually probably a better cover through one play touchdown down than the halfback wheel. The halfback wheel just has a lot of different looks that you can use against a lot of different defenses. This one here, you got a very 
good specific cover through one play touchdown that's probably better than the first play and also has a very good specific cover one one play touchdown which we'll back out and show we haven't really touched on any man coverages yet i don't really find man coverages are great but this is a great cover one one play touchdown so we're going to pick cover one robber this play here i'm actually going to move back further because to beat man you typically want to float the ball to beat zone you typically want to bullet it so on this particular play, I'm going to move back because I have a feeling that I'm gonna be chucking this ball up as long as possible. The X route here is pretty much the guy. You can see he doesn't get a ton of separation, maybe because I don't have a great receiver, but you can see he gets past the man coverage, which is the important part. We'll go to the replay. I did make one quick adjustment. I did smart route this guy. Um, you could also motion him out, which I've been doing a lot, but ultimately you can see how from the inside position, he just gets a very good inside release. And then if I had a better speed advantage, I'm not really sure who he's facing. Uh, is that Dark with Denard. I don't even know if he's still in the league, but you can see he gets behind, which is all that really matters. And then I had to safe catch it because I want to make sure that I caught it. But if you have a real receiver, a real advantage out here, he's just going to be absolutely gone. Um, I didn't mention too, it's also best to put the B route on a streak. Uh, but that's pretty much the look. I mean, this this left side, man beater, right side, cover three beater, although obviously it's a slightly different setup. Um, like I said, I like to smart route this guy. I find that that really makes the most uh, difference, but you don't necessarily have to. And then you can see, once again, he's just getting right at that seam there. Doesn't beat him. So like I said, it's a little 50-50. You want to make sure that you actually see he gets past the cornerback before you make that throw. But, uh, you know, it's that's pretty much all there is to it. So I guess right there, that's a good release. You can see there, he just completely smoked them. And then I get a bad throw but it was gone so it's you know I mean? that's the bottom line let's take a look at the replay on that one since that one looked a lot better but you can see the uh, the difference as far as the the animation like that's that's the release you want if you see him behind him lob it up i lobbed it up i don't know if there was pressure or what or jimmy g just is terrible but you can see that he should have been a home run it should have been an easy one play touchdown get a you know a better quarterback that's probably the the best way to make this a completion so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there there's still a lot of plays that are going to be a part of the full scheme on my patreon community and on my join now community tab right now links in the description below if you guys want to check those out but if you want to see the full video on youtube Sometimes on the weekend, I put out like these full 20 minute breakdowns. I can do that with this. Just hit the like button, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that, but I will, it will be on my exclusive sites for a little while. But uh, without a doubt, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Mind shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.